Signs and wonders, O Shaba. Signs and wonders manifest over the airways in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One. And I give that name glory and I give that name praise and I give that name honor. Thank you, Lord. Now, Father, I even lift up, Lord, that this night would be special, Lord. That you would save somebody, Lord. There's somebody that's listening, Lord. And they're in between, Lord. Some are in between Islam and Christianity. Whatever it is, Lord. Or they don't know what they're doing. They're just studying and they're going about their daily routines. I pray that this would be the night, Lord, that you would show them who you are. That you would be God. Just as you did it for me in a parking lot, Lord. Do it for them wherever they are. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. And I give thy name honor. Do it for him tonight, Lord. Do it for him tonight. I bind the devil. I bind every distortion. Right now, let it be a free airway, Lord. And right where I'm speaking, Lord, I pray that thy loving kindness would draw the man out. That it would draw the woman out. Oh, Shabba. The hurt man, the hurt woman. Oh, Shabba. Those that have been hurt, the lost sheep, draw them in with thy loving kindness. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. That somebody would get saved tonight, Lord. Oh, Yasha. What must I do to be saved? Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so tonight and we give that name glory and we give that name honor and I give that name praise wonder 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 oh sweet wonder lily 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 of the valley oh Shabba my bright and morning star couple say I'm the little little Osaya you deliver I'm the little Osaya deliver 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 over this airway the blood 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 oh Shabba the blood of Jesus, Okobasaya, Mama, 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 and we thank you for changing us, O oh Shabba. Changing us into the technique, the skill set, Lord. Oh, the Asha, empower us tonight. And we give thy name praise and we give thy name glory, Lord. Ah, Shabbu, that we be examples to the men, to the women, the boy and the girl, Lord. That the continents of God would be upon us, Lord. That the people wouldn't see us, but they would see you, O oh, Shabba. Change our look, Lord. Change our outside, the outer appearance, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we give thy name glory, and we give thy name praise, and we give thy name honor. It's in your holy name I pray. And I do this, Lord. I do this. I do this, Lord. I do this in your name. And then your name that you would get all the glory honor and praise and I thank you Lord for the healing power over this airway Lord let not a one be the same in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah the Holy One and I thank you I seal this for your people in your son's holy name Yeshua the Messiah the Holy One let it be so done for everyone under the sound of my voice and I give thy name praise glory and honor our men and our men Thank God. Yeah, I heard the Lord say, keep knocking. The door in front of you is about to open. Keep knocking. The walls in front of you are about to fall. Keep knocking. The dry is about to overflow with my blessings. And present whatever you don't give up or turn back as I have promised you increase this day saith the spirit of the Lord keep knocking I heard the Lord say that thank you for your word thank you for your word thank God for his word amen and we give his name glory and we give his name honor and we give his name praise truly the Lord is good a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knoweth them that trusteth in him the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth in and they are safe I tell you we honor the Lord today for the Lord is good amen a stronghold in the day of trouble 
Oh, well, again, I'll say it, he knoweth them that trusteth in him. There's nobody like Jesus. Oh, Shabbat. There's nobody like God. You know, it's a funny thing. Where we're living in a time where you just have to be so mindful where you are and what space you are because people will take you, move you here, there, and everywhere. But if you know who God is, I tell you, you can make it through anything in this season. That's right. You can make it through anything in this season. People will come and go. Relationships will come and go. Friendships, fellowships, whatever they are. But God will always remain the same. Amen. I know that to be true. I know that to be true. I've seen God move. I've seen God move for me in so many different areas. And he's going to do it for you as well. You know, today is a good day. Uh, the Lord told me to, uh, to share with you keep knocking the door is about to open you know there's a purpose why you have to be persistent and keep going i've never been a person to give up on anything you know and today was this a you know another time where you know god god will when you get in a certain place god will speak to you he'll show you who people are he'll show you when they're coming and when they're going that's right he's going to show you when they're coming and when they're going he's going to show you listen let me tell you something everybody tell you they love you what you feel when when they come around you doesn't equate to love you understand what i'm feeling you don't feel love you don't hear love and it ain't no love you understand what i'm saying listen let me tell you something god is real and he's real right now and he's he's doing it now for us he's doing it for us he's doing what he's doing exactly what he said he would do god is doing exactly what he said he would do and so we have to be mindful of where we are and understanding this one thing that god is true to his word i don't care and what happens you know that God is true to his word he's been true he's been true people haven't been true but God is he is consistent in being true what he said he would do for me and you and that's what it's all about so he's talking about keep knocking now there's somebody and there are many of you under the sound of my voice and there's a wall there's a wall that may be up up against you you get to one spot in your life and there's a wall that is always something hindering you from going through you were going through with your business or going through with your in your relationship your friendship i was telling somebody today i said every relationship is tested you better believe what i'm talking about and so you get to a stoppage area and the average person because of these walls you just stop there and give up uh huh you don't want to go no further you don't want to see what's on the other side of the wall of the door now I mean you can see it's uh you know it's raining where you are oh Shabbat uh, or maybe snow where you are but on the other side you can see that it's 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 sunny you understand what I'm saying the climate and everything that just looks like something different but there's a wall and you want to get over on the other side and because and you believe that there was where you were traveling was a better was a better avenue for you or a better direction for you but this wall just erected and you want to stop right here oh Shabbat but now is the time that God is saying look keep knocking oh Shabbat so for some of you today you got to knock down some walls oh Shabbat you got to knock down some walls in your business you got to knock down some walls in your relationship you got to knock some walls in your families whatever it is the in your finances whatever it is that's been holding you up and you get to that spot you got to begin to knock down those walls this is the hour and the time that god is empowering us to knock down the walls oh shabbat i don't know who i'm talking to but i'm telling you right now you got to knock on the walls and there's something that God for some things and some situations for a while. You may be believing God for a husband or wife, your business. You may be believing God for healing. Oh, Shabbat. You've been sick a long time. You've been believing God for healing for your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your grandmother, grandson, granddaughter, whatever I have, your aunt or uncle. Oh, Shabbat. And you keep knocking on the door. Oh, Shabbat. You keep knocking on this door. It doesn't seem like nothing's opening. Nothing's changing. You're knocking on the door for your finances. It don't seem like you getting anything better you've been knocking on the door you've been going to them churches and you've been putting your tithes and your offerings in you've been standing in no miracle lines and prayer lines and blessed lines and all kind of lines you understand what i'm saying everybody's throwing you a line oh shabbat and you keep knocking and answering this call uh-huh and nothing is changing oh shabbat but this is the time that god is saying son don't tell him don't give up keep knocking um, the door is about to open oh shabbat the door to your 
breakthrough is about to open. The door to your relationship is about to open. The door to your healing is about to open. The door to the restoration of your family is about to open. God's about to move for you, O Shabbat. God hasn't forgotten about you, nor did God give up on you, O Shabbat. But this is the time, God's Cairo time, O Shabbat, when the word of God and time have come together and you will see the display of God under the Deosai. You shall see the manifestation and you'll know what it is to understand signs and wonders and angels, O Shabbat. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. I got a call today under Osiah, and it was from my brother Oshaba. And my brother called me. He was a little, just a little upset, not much, but he was a little upset. He said, uh, "You know, I'm, I'm at the hospital with Dad Oshaba," and he told me what was wrong with my father Jacob Osiah. And I let him keep talking under the Osiah. I said, "Well, I just need two minutes, Oshaba." See, and no, no, no. what I did was I began to pray. Now I'm not praying like I used to because I'm trying to understand the technique and the skill and the mindset that when I speak and I say something, instant manifestation, O oh Shabbat. I want to connect with the greater works, O oh Shabbat. You understand what I'm talking about? Well, what do you mean by that, Zuri? I'm talking about, uh, you know, I got to go because the comfort of coming. Greater works shall ye do, O oh Shabbat. Now I'm believing God that the multitudes and the masses are healed and set free and delivered. I want to see this in my hour. I'm the yeah, you know, David declares in Psalms 116, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I want to experience this stuff. So I begin to pray with my brother. But I begin to pray from the skill and the mindset, O Shabbat, of what God's word tells us, O Shabbat. And, you know, right before uh, I, when I started the broadcast, my brother called me and he said they did the x-rays and, and they looked and observed that and uh, uh, nothing's wrong with him, O Shabbat. And he said, well, you know what? It must have been that prayer, Okobo Sata. And, you know, I got off the air, we're off the phone with my brother because I had to do the broadcast. But why am I saying this to you, O Seek because you know we got to keep knocking, O Shaba. We keep we got to keep uh, trying this thing, O Shaba. Just because you failed in one time, O Shaba, doesn't mean that you're a failure. You just failed in that situation. But you gotta get up and keep knocking until that thing works. You understand what I'm saying? You got to keep trying things. It's like making something until it becomes perfected, O Shaba. You got to work on relationships and friendships. You understand what I'm saying? I was talking to somebody today and they changed their mind about something. Oh bless his holy name. And you know it was so funny because I had talked about it months ago when it first came to me. See let me tell you something. You got to know when people coming to you with carnal stuff and flesh stuff. You got to know when people are saying one thing and they mean another. Uh huh. Listen because guess what? You don't need to tie your emotions, your feelings in something that ain't real. You better understand what I'm saying. You got to keep knocking. You got to keep knocking on the door. You got to keep knocking because God is about to answer the door. And the people, oh Shabbat, let me tell you something. You're going to walk, many of you will walk through these doors, oh Shabbat, that the Lord is opening. And you better believe me, after you go through the door, it's going to shut. So those people that are in your presence will definitely be on the other side and be called your past. You understand what I'm saying? They won't going to last. You understand what I'm talking about because God is saying right now, he's saying, listen, I, my, listen I'm going to open a door for you that no man can shut. I'm going to open up to you the skill set and mindset of my kingdom come and that my will be done. There shall be another manifestation of God's power. We're not going to end up like this. It's not going to end like this for the people of God. Listen, I'm talking about there's a time and place where we're not depending so on the medicine and doctors. But I'm learning, I want to learn how to depend on the word of God. The spoken word of God through me, O Shabbat, over them. You understand what I'm saying? The art of transfer, O oh Shabbat. I believe in healing, O oh Shabbat. I believe in speaking, O oh Shabbat, to the finances and the finances be released. I believe if I have the faith of the mustard seed, I can move mountains, O oh Shabbat. What has a wall got to do? How can a wall stop me? You understand what I'm saying? How can cancer, how can hypertension, O oh Shabbat? How, how, can, how can high blood, how can diabetes, O oh Shabbat? He said if I had 
had the faith of a mustard seed, I can move mountains. Oh, Shabbat. Now I need the technique and I need the skill and the mindset to, to have the faith of the mustard seed. That thing operating work. Because God wouldn't tell me uh, to, to, if I had the faith of a mustard seed, I could move mountains and I couldn't do it. For he's not a God that he would lie. See, so I'm not dependent on the TV evangelist. Oh, Shabbat.